Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Stars Themselves. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to the first of the three 60th anniversary specials of Doctor Who titled, this one is titled, The Star Beast. I am super excited for this, but I don't want to set my expectations anywhere, really. I've seen the trailers, but I just want to walk into this like I'm walking into a new show, kind of, because Doctor Who really surprises people and goes in all sorts of different directions. So I think I need to kind of drop my framework of what Doctor Who is going into this and just, you know, see what happens. I did recently re-watch the entire run of Donna. That's kind of fresh in my mind. So I know this backdrop is different, maybe weird, but I basically have been kind of mulling over in my mind whether I really wanted to react to these specials or not, and whether I wanted to react to the new seasons coming out with Shuti. Just because Doctor Who has been a show that I've loved since I was a teenager and it's kind of like been my show, it's like my thing. I don't know a lot of people in my personal life who like Doctor Who, so it's kind of been like my special show, like my comfort show in a way. I have never reacted to an episode of it, first time reacted, so I just kind of was like, I don't know, I don't know if I want to ruin it by having it in a reaction format. I decided to react to them, but I was like, okay, if I'm gonna react to them, then I'm going to make it as much like I'm just watching it my, for myself as I can. So I'm lounging and I've got blankets and I'm gonna watch it on my TV. I'm just trying to make it as like comfortable and normal and like natural for me as possible. I'm gonna try to tone down my reaction a little bit. I'm gonna try to like be in it and immersed in it and just enjoy it like I was watching it on my own time. I will say things that I'm thinking about it. I'll probably not say as little as I hope that I will. I'll try to tone down like the, oh, that's a cool shot or like, oh, like, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe, I don't know. I'll just do whatever comes naturally, I guess. <laughs> but yes, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I have my TARDIS with me, so that's hanging out today. I do have a sonic screwdriver necklace that I made for myself that's Matt's Sonic, but I don't have it with me this time. Hopefully then next time I will have it. Anyway, I have my TARDIS, so we should just get into it. Hey. <laughs> interrupting for a second. I don't know what that was. I do offer memberships on this channel, so if you're interested in that, if you're interested in full-length reactions or just interested in polls to help me decide what to watch next, definitely consider becoming a member. I have a link in the description. If you can't find the join button, you are welcome to join if you would like to. Now, back to the video. <laughs> I dream of creatures and adventures and faraway skies. I'm already almost crying. Oh, this is a beautiful way to bring new fans in. I keep having more and more dreams. Wow. But now this face has come back. Why? Yeah. The story hasn't ended yet. Wow. credits are incredible oh my gosh I can't believe Doctor Who is back I am like in tears <sighs> this is incredible oh my God. okay a minute okay oh the music <sighs> Ray Gold being back is just everything oh, I love this music so much already oh this is incredible Hold on, let me help. Donna! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Oi, do you mind? <laughs> oh. I took one look at him. I said, never trust a man with a goatee. <laughs> She's missing it again. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> Mum, look, it's a spaceship. Yes, there's a spaceship. <laughs> you are worse than your great friends. Oh. 
Yeah, granddad. Wow, she really missed the whole thing again. You can wear a suit that's high up to the age of 35 and no further. <laughs> Grandmaster of the knowledge. Grandmaster of the knowledge. <laughs> oh yeah. Catch up. <laughs> <Catch> up. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Oh, I know, I know that friend of yours. Nearest, yeah. She's Donna Temple now. <laughs> no, still Donna Noble. She refused to be Noble Temple. Wasn't it Temple Noble? Isn't that what Wilf said? Didn't you win the lottery? No, it's- mm -hmm. Oh, he's trying to find out what happened to her. He's just like- Charity every single oh, penny. Oh, that's so Donna. Now we can't- oh, and her theme again. Oh, next left. Turn left. <laughs> I'm here at the front. Oh, the yes, right. the news things again. Oh, RTDs are really back. <sighs> The fact that I'm so in this is just amazing. Like, RTD is back. Doctor Who is back. It has... It's come back. And I... I can't... I was trying not to have my expectations too high, but this is like... It's shooting the bar so high up, and I am so in it. I cannot believe Doctor Who is back. This is incredible. I'm like... My eyes are like wide, because I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> I'm like a deer in the headlights. Thieves beware. Wow. You know what's incredible about this is that it feels like old Doctor Who. Not old, like classic, but like OG New Who. But with such a bigger budget. It's incredible. It's like, it's filmed like a lower budget, but it's higher budget. So it's like crisp, but still feels like down to earth and real. That's exactly what I wanted. Maybe that spaceship was on a collision course. Oh, she is. I don't remember her name. Ruth Madeley. Looking forward to meeting her in this. That ship didn't crash. It landed, yeah. I wonder who she is to unit. Some people were theorizing she's a unit scientist. Just leave it. She had lots of names at school, and I should know. I invented them. Oh, their home looks lovely. Also reminiscent of the home they stayed in and turned left, interestingly enough. No such thing as spaceships. What? Oh, she's probably just saying that because she's trying to protect Donna. Listen, you. I would burn down the world for you, darling. Anyone has a go, I will be there and I will descend. <laughs> descend. <laughs> Honestly, if Wilf is in this episode, I know he's in the specials because it was in leaked behind the scenes things. But yeah, if he's in this episode, I am going to cry instantly. You have a kid, you think, good. I've got it. That's mine. How lucky am I? Don't you, Mum? Oh, yes, definitely. I wish. Remember Gramps used to talk about flying saucers? Did I tell you? Yeah, she's trying to deflect the conversation. He used to talk about aliens and UFOs and little green men. Mm. Then he never mentioned them again. It's a long time ago, darling. Mm. Fifteen years. I guess that makes sense. I don't know why I th didn't even think about it. I kind of, I kind of look to the side, like that something should be there, but it's not. I should be really happy. <laughs> I lie in bed thinking, what have I lost? See this, Murray Gold's music. This is what I love about it. It complements the scenes. It doesn't overwhelm or distract from them. And here comes the meat. Oh my. Fudge? His name is Fudge? <laughs> Who's that? Meep, meep. Meep, meep. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> He's so cute. That's so cruel. I am the meat. You can oh, talk. Oh, he can talk. Yeah. Wow. Monsters. Monsters. Oh, right. It said that in the trailer. I forgot. Right on our doorstep. Oh, no. Things going after me, probably. Yeah. It is the meat we seek. Continue the hunt. <laughs> Not the voices I would expect from these guys. I wonder if those are just masks, but I don't think so. I mean, they've got those pincher things. That is cool. Oh, the Sonic, the new Sonic. I can't. 
Wow, that's so cool. Is the Sonic projecting that? Oh, this is incredible. Oh my gosh. And the fit and the angle and the crossed legs and the music. I literally cannot handle this. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Evening. Doctor. Oh, she knows who he is already. I mean, I guess he's got an old face, so they probably have records. Shirley Ann Bingham, unit scientific advisor. She is a unit, unit scientist. I'm going to get a bonus just for meeting you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you look like the doctor to me. Well, exactly. One in the skinny suit. That's your future. You can't know that. Nope. So I've got this friend called Donna Noble. I absolutely love her. Oh, mm. do I say things like that now? Oh. A spaceship crashes right in front of her. It's like she's drawing us in. It's like she's drawing us in. I wonder if he's referring to us as in him and all of his past regenerations. I won't be the one who kills her. Yeah, yeah, not you, mate. I've got this. Off you pop. Off you pop. What did your whole life? You wish. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was just about to say, is this place really accessible to her? It seems like a place that wouldn't be. Whoa. I did hear something about the unit scientists maybe being pose possessed by something. She needs to get out of there or like get something to defend herself or something. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. What is this? This is so fun. It's so Doctor Who. I'm loving it. <sighs> This is awesome. Please be my friend. Why won't you speak to the little Meep? Why is Meep so adorable when we all know that he's like an intense villain? You've got stuffing inside. Ah, you put his <laughs> tummy out. <laughs> I want to go home. The Meep is all alone. Oh. I've never seen E.T., I know, but this feels like E.T. for some reason. Hopefully nothing bad happens. I mean, it will happen. Thinking who ends up doing the oh, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's coming. Oh, that is your best, yeah. No, I know, but let's go. <laughs> Those eyes are amazing. They look so real. They look... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Gosh, this is literally everything. I can't even contain my excitement. This is incredible. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Sylvia's gotta try to protect her from everything. <laughs> Dad. I thought he was talking about Wilf. I got too excited for a second there. <laughs> Something smells nice. <laughs> Chin in my dress. <laughs> meep, meep. Meep, meep. <laughs> so cute. You will return immediately for reassessment. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So I'm guessing that they're just possessed. They can't possess other people. This man should deal with this beast and 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 we can leave him alone and go back to oh the fact that he's taking care of him is so precious i don't know about the history of veep the meat from the comic so i don't know if the doctor ever met him but what was it so cute a friend of neris that's it friend of neris <laughs> i used to know your granddad wilf he's not with us anymore right i love that man i'm so sorry for your loss He's not dead. Yeah, I was gonna say there's no way he's dead because he was he was in the behind the scenes um, leaks. Run by that lot in the middle of town. Unit, this woman in charge. Run by she unit. says, there's an old soldier. Oh, that's precious. She's looking after Wilf. Oh. Brilliant. I am always the me. 
It breaks both my hearts. The meep has two hearts. Sorry, say that again? We demand to search the house. I love how quick he is. This is fantastic. Not today, thanks. <laughs> Not today, thanks. Did you even lock it? Who? Oh, the wraith. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rarth. Not wraith. Rarth. Okay. Wait. What is he doing with the sonic? Does it do wood? Whoa, wait. What? Whoa! Can he draw shields with the Sonic now? <gasps> no way! That's incredible! It can do anything. It can literally do anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. My gosh, they're just destroying their house. My goodness. My house! Yeah. Gosh. Oh, they fly. Interesting. Oh wow, okay. Interesting as well. Gosh, so much is happening. How very Doctor Who. <laughs> Why is the meep so stinking cute? That's not concrete, that's mortar. Thank you, Bob the Builder. Oh, that's cool. Bob the Builder. <laughs> You're not bad. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> Seriously, who does sci-fi like this except for Doctor Who? Honestly. This is just gold. I'm loving this. There's no other show like it. Well, they're right there, oh my gosh. Also, these Rarth warriors are so tall. Oh, he's checking. What did he notice? Was the person alive? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I can't believe the budget. We're alive. Thank you. Meep, meep. <laughs> meep, meep. Gosh, the doctor is driving. That doesn't happen very often, I feel like. That's so exciting. I love it. I can just think of like a handful of times that the Doctor's been in a car, let alone driving. But I guess the classic Doctor Who, there was Bessie, was it? The third Doctor, I think, had a car named Bessie. This court is now in session. This feels like Jody's Doctor. What the hell are you doing? Silence in court. This is such a Jody thing to do, I feel like. Violence until such time as I deem it fit and proper. Is that understood? <laughs> the fact that he's taking this so seriously with that wig. The guns apply a mild and harmless neural anesthetic. So in other words, they're not bad guys. So if they're not bad guys, then who is Beep the Meep? Evil Roth warriors want to kill the Meep. The only ones out to kill were the soldiers with the swirling eye. Mm. So are they coming to hurt you, the Meep? Or save you, yeah. Their planet basked in the light of a living sun. The sun went mad. Its radiation mutated all of meek kind into cruel beasts. Interesting. Captured the Galactic Council, beheaded them, and ate them. I wonder if this was all in the comics. Only this one survives. Their leader, the most cruel and despicable of all. So their son, their living son, turned them into evil? Oh. Oh my gosh. Just die! Oh my gosh, terrifying. Kind of glad they changed his face, its face, because it was just way too cute <laughs> to be evil. I am the beep of all the meeps. <laughs> the beep of all the meeps. Regrets. Retirement from active duty. Oh. Is that thing is gonna? Oh no! What, dude? They just knocked him out like a centaur. <laughs> we could be living somewhere far away from here, Monte Carlo, Switzerland. She gave up the lottery money, and you'd be safe for us. 
gave away that lottery money. Why? Because there are places out there where people are in danger and in pain. And I could help. Just felt like the sort of thing he would do. Oh, Wilf, right? Or, I don't know, that feels like a memory slipping through, but maybe she's justifying it as being the sort of thing that Wilf would do. That just felt kind of like the moment when she bought that book for Wilf and she was like, I don't know, just kind of saw it and thought of you. Like a little memory peeking through a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yikes. A dagger drive gets its energy by stabbing down. It would extract. Oh. That's what was in the trailer, those cracks. I just assumed that was the toy maker that did that. Wow, so that's actually gonna happen. That's terrifying. Those teeth. Evening, boys. <laughs> nice! Oh, I love that. That's fantastic. I love it. Oh, she's got the unit symbol on the back of her wheelchair, too. I don't just fire darts, mate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh. Donna, come on. Yeah, uh huh. Man, I really wonder how they're gonna reconcile this situation with her in these specials. I love you, Donna. She's gonna go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Take her. Take her 10 miles away. The doctor can't save the city. We're all gonna die. I've got to help. She just called him the doctor. He didn't say he was the doctor. doctor. Yeah, exactly. He just said I was passing by. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and this is... This is that scene where he slides under the thing from the trailer. Enough. Running. Is it though? It's always running. <laughs> What does the meep want? I mean, it's it wants fuel for this rocket, and it might have said what it wanted. I don't remember, but <laughs> oh, I love him just like, ugh. <laughs> That's so ten to be just climbing all over everything. I love it. Oh my gosh! Wait, she's on the other side though. Let me help. No, you can't get involved. She knows who you are now. She's given that face. Why isn't she saying anything though? Maybe she just kind of halfway knows. She's not totally conscious of it yet. Oh my gosh. Oh no, where are they gonna go? What do we do? Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. How can they possibly fix this? All that coincidence was heading here to save London from burning. Cause you and I can stop this shit. Oh, he has to wake her up. But it will kill you. Okay. You'll die. My daughter is down there. <laughs> it's nine million people. Who cares about me? I do. <laughs> I'm just no one. No, you are not. <laughs> Westerly, <laughs> Pelican, Dreams. I don't... There's a code to unlock her? Like the Winter Soldier? Andante. Get off with it! <laughs> Barrow. Dance. Dance. Oh, oh, I gotta relax my forehead. I gave away my money. <laughs> <laughs> I had a subconscious, infracutaneous, retrofold memory loop. The Doctor Donna. One hundred and sixty-six million. <laughs> oh, I'll show you destruction. <laughs> 
I will triple drive the pot. But she's because in. I get to do this. She's in the other two episodes, right? The other two specials, isn't she? Donna Novo is descending. Oh, she said she would. No, she said she would ascend, right? Did she say she would ascend or descend? I will descend. I don't remember. <sighs> Whoa! They can reverse it. Whoa! <laughs> That's incredible. That's so Doctor Who. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. What are we gonna do about this? I mean, cause she's not gonna die here, right? She was in the trailer in future episodes. Kinda wish I didn't know that. Spoiler. You saved her. You saved them all. Oh. Why did this face come back? To say goodbye. <laughs> no, she's not gone. It's not happening like that. How is, oh. So reminiscent of him holding the master like that, you know. <laughs> Doctor Donna. <laughs> the Doctor Donna. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. What? What? Yeah, how did that happen? What? 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 Closing down all psychedelic light wave emanators and transferring excess power to the broken dome perfixilators. I think it's safe for you to come down now. It was transferred generationally? Too much power for one person, but you had a child. Oh, wow. What a brilliant explanation for why she stays alive. That is so smart. I would, oh my gosh, I was wondering how they were gonna do that. That is so brilliant. That makes so much sense, that's awesome. The shed was her memory of the TARDIS. Oh, wow. The toys! Great in progress. Oh my gosh! And if I have to explode the engines and rupture this world, then I will! So the Meep really has like no true intention. It's just been made evil by this sentient sun or something? A creature with two hearts. Just wait till I tell the boss. Is the toy maker the boss? The Metacrisis might have slowed down, but that thing is wrapped around your cortex. We know everything. It's a shame you're not a woman anymore. She'd have understood. Hmm. Let it go. Wait, really? That's a thing? Okay. Strange. All right. After all these years, I'm finally me. Amazing Donna's free now. That's not even a thing anymore. One last trip. Uh, don't you dare. Oh, is this the scene where Rose is like, Mom, and it's like going away? Do they just kind of get sucked in or something? Well, I was thinking we could <laughs> yes, go and see Yes, yes, let's do that. Let's do it. Also, I need to see the TARDIS. I mean, I've seen the leaked footage, so I kind of have an idea of what it looks like. I mean, the, not leaked footage, but leaked imagery. Oh. To see the doctor. One last time. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it. It's like the old days. Just me and the doctor. <sighs> the round things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those ramps. It's amazing. Ah! It's all accessible. Inside. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So big and him running around it, that's so adorable. Oh, this is amazing, and the music. Oh, this is so cool. I love this so much. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow, and the colors can change. That's awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is awesome. It's gorgeous! Yeah, it is! And it's massive! It's huge! Like, is it not bigger than the normal TARDISes? Like, in the, the main control room anyways, not just, like, as a whole? This can change all right, but what about your face? Yeah. 
Does there have to be a reason? To your life? <laughs> yes! Well, I'm stuck with it now. Yeah, for two more episodes. Coffee machine! What? You want one? You're kidding. What? No way! <laughs> That's incredible! And there's a cup and a saucer! Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I really do remember that. Every second with you. Mm. It killed me, Donna. Yeah. It killed me, it killed me, it killed me. Why is it such a big goodbye with you? Why is it one last trip? We've got a family now, Donna. We could do outrageous things like have tea, dinner, and a laugh. Why don't you do something completely new and have some friends? Mm. Having a coffee. What's going to go wrong? <gasps> oh my god, I'm <laughs> What did you do? What? Is this what's going to make it disappear and make Rose be like, Mom? Yeah, it is. What is going on? Mom. She just spilled coffee on the console? What is happening? What's happening? Yeah, what's happening? What on earth? Was it Donna's fault or was it whoever the boss is that the meep? Anywhere in time is right. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to see the next time trailer. That was amazing. Wow. <laughs> Man, great cliffhanger. Love it. Love having cliffhangers again. I mean, I think Jody's era probably, yeah, it, it had some cliffhangers. There was definitely some, especially in the flux. I'm really surprised by how the meep totally, the facial structure changed completely. That was really interesting, but made a lot of sense too because the meep was so cute before the evilness came <laughs> or like showed its face. But yeah, and I loved, you know, the, the grieving of the Rarth warriors that died. I mean, it was really brief, but it's just overall this episode felt so Doctor Who and all the things about Doctor Who that I've missed in the the Doctor cares so much about all sorts of aliens and people that he's just met. That was lovely. And seeing Donna again, all the the fun little lines. There was never a lull in it in the in the episode that felt like it was dragging on or anything. It, there were so many clever lines and it was just so non-stop and had me in it like the whole time. So I loved that. That was so much fun. Yeah, brilliant explanation for Donna. That was just, that was a really, really fun time. I'm so excited that Doctor Who is back. The TARDIS is absolutely gorgeous and it's finally accessible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Finally. Also, you know, there was a the mention of Wilf. I'm wondering if we will see him next episode or maybe we'll see him in the final episode. I feel like that might make more sense because Wild Blue Yonder is the next one and that's the one they've been the most secretive about. Although maybe them being that secretive about it means that that is the episode that they'll show Wilf in because they haven't publicly announced yet that Wilf is coming back. It's only just been in leaks. Well, I mean, briefly, obviously, because Bernard Cribbins passed away unfortunately. But yeah, anyway, that was amazing. That was amazing. The music was incredible. Oh my gosh, Murray Gold is just pure gold. <laughs> he just does not disappoint. He's so incredible. And I loved how every musical choice complimented every scene. I loved hearing the bits of Donna's theme. And I think there was a little bit of, do of the Doctor's theme um, in there a little too, and it was just so beautifully done, the sound design, the everything, just, gosh, and the Sonic has so many new cool functionalities now, and now the TARDIS can just make coffee with a cup and a saucer, change colors on the inside, it's just, gosh, I, I'm so excited for the new possibilities about this show, because so much could happen now, like, the, the possibilities are endless, and that's something I love about Doctor Who, that it's just, like, they could do anything, like anything is possible in this show and it's so, so fun. And I am curious as to what was on the doctor's mind when Donna was talking about friendship and about stopping by and having dinner or having tea or whatever, just having a laugh. And the doctor seemed 
sort of more open to it, but also somewhat reserved about it. And of course, the doctor has always had a complicated history with hanging out with people. I mean, the doctor doesn't like goodbyes for one thing, but also just like going and having dinner with people is a rare occasion for the doctor. At least in New Who, I don't know about Classic Who. I've seen pieces of Classic Who, but not a lot. But yeah, like, I mean, there was just a few times, a few select times where the doctor actually went to people's houses and had dinner with them or just hung out with them. But now, like, he's been Jody, and Jody's doctor was very, like, friends-oriented. Her friends were, like, her family. She was very, like, connected with everyone and wanted everyone to be on the same page, although she was very secretive, too. But yeah, I'm just so curious to see what this doctor explores emotionally. I feel like every single doctor has kind of been a different stage of, what's the word? I don't know, like, self-discovery or introspection, something like that. Just every doctor has kind of expressed themselves in different ways dealt with trauma and pain and friendship in different ways and in ways that felt like a progression. So I wonder how this doctor is going to address that and especially wonder how Shuti's doctor is going to express, express that. I am so excited for Shuti's doctor and for Millie Gibson as Ruby Sunday. I can't wait to see them. I really hope Shuti gets to keep this TARDIS because this TARDIS looks incredible. It looks like so much fun and I can't wait to explore like all, all the corners of it and all the details of the console. I just can't wait to see all the possibilities of this TARDIS and what it can bring to the table and also the future of Doctor Who and what the Doctor will be like and whether the Doctor will change somewhat and be more open to having friends and visiting people or if that will stay the same but like how their mental health will change and shift and grow and <sighs> I just can't wait. I'm like, oh, I'm so in it. I'm so excited. I am so ready. This is just amazing. Doctor Who is back! <laughs> it's incredible. <sighs> Okay, so outro time. I have launched memberships on my channel now, so if you're interested in full-length reactions, definitely check that out. I've got the link in the description. There's also maybe a join button if you're on a computer, but the join button hasn't been showing up on the app lately. So I would check the description and see if you're interested in signing up for memberships. If you liked this video, please leave a big thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Leave a nice comment and subscribe. Turn on the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, and I will see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, Dr. Who's here! Okay, bye!